currently is suing a Central Texas water park after an elderly man drowned. About two years ago, 83-year-old Iru Yedonapali was accompanying his special needs granddaughter for a day of fun at Hawaiian Falls in Pflugerville when he died. KXAN investigator Robert Maxwell spoke to the attorney today about what happened. Iru Yedonapali's grown son, Phillips, says he's still too fragile to talk about his father's death on camera. But he finally remembers Iru as an adventurer, a man who loved yoga and spending time with his granddaughter who has autism. The pair was at Hawaiian Falls for a special Champions Day to celebrate kids with disabilities when Iru died in this waiting pool. The lawsuit contends when the park opened in May 2014, it was, quote, before it was adequately staffed with lifeguards that had received facility-specific training. And as Phillips' attorney contends, by that August, the water park was understaffed and too many patrons were allowed to enter. They had two lifeguards on duty at this particular pool in the park. They should have had at least four, if not six or eight. KXAN also obtained police incident reports. One of the lifeguards, a 16-year-old, told officers she didn't see the victim that day because he was hidden behind a concrete pillar in the pool. A witness told police two to three minutes went by before anyone told lifeguards about the man underwater. While well, the medical examiner found Iro had heart disease, the ME's report concluded he died from drowning. In response, a representative for Hawaiian Falls sent KXAN this brief statement. Quote, we look forward to the legal process and to the facts coming out in this case. Safety remains our number one priority, and we're confident in our safety record at all six of our parks. Now, that same day, August 9, 2014, KXAN reported not only the drowning, but a near drowning involving a two-year-old girl at the same wading pool. Police reports show again in that case it was a patron who had to tell lifeguards about the mishap in the crowded pool. However, we can tell you this past March, just a couple months ago, Hawaiian Falls partnered with a professional lifeguard firm to train its employees. More about that is online tonight. And Robert and Shannon, Hawaiian Falls is set to open for daily use this Friday for the summer. Robert, thank you very much. And we checked with the state to see how many injuries have been reported at Hawaiian Falls. According to the Texas Department of Insurance, five people were hurt at the water park in Pflugerville since it opened in 2014. Two of the injuries were on a ride called Diamond Head. The others happened on the tube racer, the body slide, and the aqua tube. Another 15 injuries were reported at other Hawaiian Falls parks in Texas. And last year, KXAN found out some amusement parks are not reporting their injuries to the state and some don't have to. That's because the Texas Department of Insurance does not have the authority to penalize parks that fail to report. And water parks are only required to report injuries if the ride is mechanical, so floating rides or pools are not included.